Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went on a PvP Elver server completely as a solo and we're going to go from absolutely nothing to becoming one of the richest players or by PvP in groups, tryhards and getting quite lucky at the same time. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Also make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos, each one helps the channel grow more than you think. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim your prize, make sure to join my Discord at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to roll another one which is a Sky Lantern surplus jacket. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. But before we head into the video, I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you guys looking to start your own answer network with survival roleplay or even just a private server to play with your friends? Then look no further than Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can set up your server in a very short amount of time. Performance is very high quality and extremely easy to use and to learn. When I started off with my own LDG network, I literally had no idea how to do anything. But with Pine Hosting's easy navigation, it only took me a few seconds to just learn the basics. They have locations all around the world, cheap and affordable pricing, and have hostings for multiple games including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is the fact that with just one click, you can install plugins and mods into your servers. Go to server with another provider, don't worry, they will personally help you move your server. If you guys want to start your own uncertain servers, make sure to check out the link in the description below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we're currently on Elver. I am completely a solo today. There are a few people on, there's a 3-man team, another 3-man team and a duo. And I already hear shots as soon as we log in. That That is actually perfect. Now what we're going to try to do today is... We're going to try to get ourselves maybe a pretty good run. I think it gives you a skiller and some extra mags. There's a pretty high cooldown actually. So that's, that's kind of good. Now maybe we'll try to get ourselves some raids today. I don't know. But first things first is I'm going to loot Junction. I'm pretty sure I heard shots there. So let's just hope that we don't die. But today I do... Oh uh, yeah, there's actually Moscow shots. Somebody just killed somebody else with a Moscow. But today I will... Uh, Try to build a base next to Junction. Yeah, there's a bunch of loot over there. There's a lot of loot, actually. He's right over... He's right inside. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know about me. My headshot. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. He's pushing me. Hit him. Ah, oh, he died. Bro, I literally died through when I was running inside. But it's okay. I should have vaulted his gun. I'll try to go back, obviously. We'll see what will happen. Alright, so I'm back. Got myself a pog. I don't know if they're still here. Oh, yeah. They're still... Up. I hear steps. He's right behind me. He is dead. His buddy is somewhere back there. Oh yeah, Mosca. Beautiful. Oh, let's clear out the zombie. Dude, I'm just gonna vault the Mosca actually. He had a billion planks for whatever reason. Mesh. Oh, I hear people running up to me. Oh, he's dead. He's still down there. Let's pick up the Mosca and vault that one too. There we go. Alright, let's run up a bit. Med up. Even though we were basically at full HP. Oh, he's pushing me. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, they both pushed me. Damn, TPA is instantly. Oh, well, we got ourselves two Moscas, mesh a bunch of ammo. I mean, we, we technically kind of profited, but we, we still died. If only I had a base or something. But yeah, I'm just gonna loot the mall then, and then we'll, we'll probably go back. I'll probably try to build a one by one base next to Junction. Because these guys seem that they just live there. They just wanna stay in Junction 24 7. Alright, so I'm gonna build a one by one over here. Got myself quite a ton of wood. Probably just enough for a one by one, though. Thing is, I'm not gonna have any wood for crates, though. So I'll just have myself a bed in here. But it's extremely close. I don't even have enough metal for for a door. I do have... I'm just gonna salvage the radio then. And the knife. We'll have enough. We only need five. There's people with pendiculators as well, man. Yeah, let's put that right over there. Now we have a kit that gives us a bedroll. So I'll put that there. Alright, perfect. Now I'm just gonna go try to get myself... I don't know, maybe some stuff that we can salvage. And maybe I can get myself a blowtorch. But I'm just gonna drop these for now. So if I die, they wouldn't get them. Thing is, I only have this gun, and I'm gonna be against Moscas and Pendiculators. I don't really think it's gonna go well. But we're right next to Junction, so whenever we hear shots, that's literally going to be always a Junction. I don't see anyone actually. Wait, we got ourselves a Mosca, beautiful. Uh, it has no ammo. There's a guy there. Killed him. I'm gonna die. I shot down the tree. Oh yeah, I'm dead. He was getting shot at by somebody else. That's the funny thing. Dude, I'm just gonna go with a Mosca this time. I'm literally gonna kill all of them. If that tree didn't go down, I would have killed that guy pushing me. 100%. Oh yeah, let's go back. They're always running around with Moscas as well. There's still a lot of shots going on. I think that's a Hellcat as well. And he's right over here. He's dead. Oh, he's geared. I already see Mesh. Another dude dead. Yeah, that was the full duo. I'm pretty sure there are more. He's right over there. Oh, he's dead. He was one shot. 
Oh, that's hilarious. All right. Take all of the loot. Oh, he has a lot of metal, so a bunch of mags. There's another dude going back there. Oh, I can't even home. Oh, there's a blowtorch. Wait, let's take that. Perfect. I can make lockers now. Yeah, just take as much items as possible. Those vests, I'll just salvage them. That's easy metal. Oh, he's pushing me. Oh, perfect. Uh, if I shot, I probably would have interrupted my home. But yeah, we made it with a bunch of loot. Oh, I made nails by mistake. All right, so I'm just gonna make lockers. Yeah, we need some bars. There we go, a locker. Bam. I don't even know how much guns we got from this. We got like three Moscas. No, we got four Moscas. Damn, that's actually kind of incredible. We got some mesh as well. Salvage these. We don't need that much clothes. Make ourselves another locker. Salvage this Mosca. Even though we could have just put a magazine in it, but it's okay. Right, we got ourselves the second locker. Huge. Put that right over there. Put the remaining items. I'm not gonna run around with the Elise pack either. I'm gonna keep that here. Got some sniper mags. That's pretty cool. And we'll salvage this as well. There's still a lot of shots going on, so I'm probably just gonna go back instantly. Yeah, I'm gonna empty what I had in Vault too. So we could put them here. And with all of those cans that I've had, I can make myself two more lockers. Now the problem is, if they find out where I live, it's gonna be super easy for them to door camp me. Because it's just a one by one, man. So I'll probably try to upgrade at some point. Make it at least a 2 by one so we would have at least some honeycomb and an airlock. Alright, let's go back. He's right over here. And he's dead. Another gun. I don't know if there are any more people, though. Oh, that's an easy Moscow, man. I'm just gonna vault that, too. It's a very small vault, but at least we can put some guns in there. So if I die, I wouldn't actually lose anything. Oh, he's right under me. Did he not see me? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yep, three Mos- This dude had three Moscas on him. Take those. There's a bunch of more loot. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, he's right over there. I saw him. Oh, he's at the very top. Pretty sure there are two dudes then. There's another Mosca here. Oh, somebody's pushing me, I heard. Oh, he's dead. Another dude there. Dead as well. That guy is still sniping at me. I hear steps behind me again, man. What the hell? Why are there so many people? Oh, he, that guy died. There's another dude about to push me, I'm pretty sure. He's naked though. He's dead. Oh, this guy's dead too. More steps. Yeah, he's right back there. My guy tried to get a gun. I think I killed everybody. Take the sniper mags. We could raid with those. And let's home. All right. Very successful run. Got ourselves quite some metal. A lot of cloth. A couple of Moscas. Radio. All right. Not too bad. We'll put the Moscas here. Bro, we're getting insanely rich from this. Just from PvP, man. And there's still, there's still a lot of shots going on. Let them kill each other. And I kill whoever is left. Yeah, this guy just killed everybody. And now we kill him. Now we get all of their loot. There's another Mosca here. Two Moscas already. There's another loot pile, but... Yeah, another Mosca. It's empty though. I'm not gonna take it. Even though I could just fill it up, but... Honestly, how much Moscas do we need, man? There's some high kill Tusk. Another Mosca. Just Mosca Haven, man. And it's not a kit or any of that. These guys are actually finding Moscas and using them for PvP. I'm just gonna take this wood, actually. Oh, I hear steps. How the hell did he not kill me? There's another dude at the top. I hear somebody wearing clothes. That's very, very close then. Yeah, there's a naked back here. He's dead. There's two dudes back there. And he's shooting shotgun. There's another guy. Hit him. Alright, he is dead. I'm getting shot again. Somebody with a Moscow. I don't know where he is though. It's mad up. Oh, he's back there. Is he gonna try to push me? There's more Heikel over there. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here actually. Oh, there's a dude back there. Let's just scare him off. He's trying to push me. Oh. Bro, I TP'd mid PvP. It's okay. What matters is that we didn't die. We got ourselves quite a ton of metal from that run as well. So, oh, there's somebody shooting Tusk very, very close to my base. That's very bad. I don't want to run around. And they realize that I live here. Yeah, I picked up some wood so that maybe we can continue upgrading base for a bit. Make it a bit bigger. But yeah, I'm gonna put everything inside this locker. And we'll go back. Right, so I managed to upgrade base a bit. Made uh, part of the next honeycomb area. Nothing crazy. Just two pillars, floor, and the wall. Seems like it kind of calmed down as well. I don't hear any shots right now. Right, so I partially made the base metal. I used all the little metal that I've had. Managed to make myself a doorway and a wall. We need to make ourselves the door and the roof basically. And yeah, we would be done with a two by one fully functional base there's some shots going on as well so let's just go kill whoever is still here yeah Moscow shots i have no idea where they are actually he's up there there's heikel right there we'll take that a grenade take these so that we can make some meds he's up there hit him hit him hit him oh yeah they know about me now all right so the base is technically done 
So I'm just gonna run around again, try to get more kills, but... You know, I don't have to worry about door campers. Oh, he's right there. Or he just came out of nowhere, I didn't even see him. Is he about to die as well? Oh, that's literally right next to my base. So that that's kind of dangerous. He has the door I've been destroying. They probably know where I live as well. I'll just take one of the Moscas out. Try not to make a noise, just in case they are literally outside. I don't think they are, though. Oh, yeah, he is. How the hell is he not dead? He lit him up, man. Yeah, now they definitely know. Yeah, they're both dead. So I'm just gonna suicide and I can home because I have a cooldown. And I'm not just gonna make any noise, man. If they have raiding gear, I'm about to get raided. 100%. Oh, he's right there. Bro, my aim. There we go. He's dead. What the hell? He has so much green crystals. And yeah, those guys aren't even next to my base, by the way. I, th I think they left. Or they didn't realize it's my base. Yeah, this guy has some good loot. He has a graphics card, new phone, gyroscope. Yeah, let's home. Let's pick ourselves a couple of the green crystals to while we're at it. Maybe we decide to do a horde beacon or whatever they're used for. And we are back. Alright, so since they know where I live, I am going to check if I can do... Yeah, I can do have... I can have two beds. That's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go run around, try to find myself a base that's raided, take it over, and then I'll move all of the loot. Because these guys know where I live and th that is... That is terrifying. Because they probably left to try to get raiding gear or something. So I'm gonna try to move base. Hope that they don't raid me in the few minutes that I'm going to be changing my loot. Yeah, let's just salvage everything, make them into cans. Whatever I find, I'll take it over. I don't care what it is, if it's a 1x1, one one, if it's a 20x20. 20 20. I just want to take over a room, make myself some lockers, a new bed. At least I would have all of the loot safe somewhere. I'm gonna still check around Junction, obviously. I'm gonna check every base, see if they're raided, and move on from there. So I may have found something, it's just a one by one metal. Wait, wait, there's somebody inside, I just heard them craft something. Bro, there's no way, the first thing I find is a live base that's not even fully finished. Yeah, they just placed a roof. Oh wait, no, they didn't. Wait, he's outside, he's right there. How is he not dead? There we go. Damn, that gun was weak. I mean, it's a puck, so it's what I expect. I have no meds, this guy's gonna push me. I have, I've lost him, he's right there. Yeah, they're both trying to push me out. This is the duo that I've been killing over and over. The duo that found my base, yeah, I'm dead. Great. So I know where they live, they know where I live. So it's only a matter of who manages to raid who first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna door camp them. Yeah, they're still just a duo. Alright, perfect. Yeah, thankfully I didn't have any of the loot on me. I just had a metal wall, which they're probably gonna take and use, but it's fine. Alright, let's go back. I don't think they have raiding gear though. I think they were just in the military area just for PvP. They may have something in vault. Alright, we are back. Oh. Bro, as soon as I arrive, they just open and yeah, there we go. Easy. I don't, they don't even have beds inside, man. Alright, there we go. And this dude had Mosca Puck. Yeah, that was my Mosca with the 7x. I have three lockers. Probably not even worth, to be honest. They were running around with Pucks and Skillerks. But yeah, I eliminated them. That's good. They didn't even have beds. I thought they would have more loot, but I have more loot than them. We are back. Got ourselves quite a ton of metal as well. I'm still gonna run around look for a base because they may try to do the same thing. They may try to door camp me now. Alright guys, so I did find something. Now it just has a missing groove. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to do a hole and then we'll do a hatch. And then we'll do a ladder. So at least we would still be able to, to get out. So I'll put a hatch there. Then all we would need is a ladder, which right now is not really that important. But we'll put the bed here and I'll start moving all of the loot. We're still quite close to junction, but not exactly next to junction. Just need to do a bit of a walk. But I'll still keep the other bed inside the base that I built, so that they would still think that it's my base, just that my loot is over here, basically. Yeah, we are back, now it's time to start salvaging, moving all of the loot. And that is, that is basically it, that's what we're gonna do. Some more shots going on over here. A lot of shots, actually. And then once we do this, we'll home again, we'll repeat the same steps, and then we'll just come back to this bed and go to the military area. Alright, so basically did move everything, all of the good loot at least. I'm pretty sure I moved all of the lockers anyway. There's an airdrop passing by too, but I'm not gonna go for it. And we still have another Moscow on my inventory at the very bottom, I didn't even see it. We have a couple of empty lockers. We did lose like two Moscas from PvP earlier. We did get them back technically. But yeah, now I'm just gonna home back to the main bed and we'll go to Junction. Hope there are people there. I didn't do any progression yet. I'm not doing... I didn't pick up a single key. All I did was just run around in Volk and just get a pretty nice Rex to riches. If only they had raiding gear on them. That would have been 10 times better. Yeah, there's still some loot on the floor. Mosca, Haikel, Tusk. So I'll probably move those next. Yeah, my vault is full. We'll keep this bed here. There's a dude there. He's dead. I'm getting shot at. He had a Valentine. Let's pick the gun up. These guys trying to kill me with a wisp. I just med up before we push. 
Is he trying to push me? Oh no, he's behind that tree. And he's dead. Easy. Oh, he has some glute actually. He had a pog and high cal. Why the hell was he using a wisp? Well, I don't even know what he was using. May have been using the Valentine. Maya has the same duo that I just door camped. These guys really want to kill me. I think they've only killed me at the very, very start. There's a dude pushing. He's dead. No, easy loot. And Valentine as well. Bunch of junk. You know, nothing that crazy. Salvage his clothes. Got ourselves some more metal. All right, let's go. Huge. Wait, there's literally somebody raiding. It's not my base though, it's something very very close. But I'm just gonna do the lockers that I was gonna do first. So there's a ton of metal. I'm gonna go try to kill this guy that's raiding. Let's put it in there for now. Let's put everything we don't wanna lose. Get this kill and get ourselves a heat wave. We would literally get everything just from PvP, it would be insane. Oh, he's right here, wait, is it? It could be him. Yep, he's dead. Oh, he's geared. Oh yeah, he is. Oh, I'm getting sniped. Let's just pick Lot. He only has a sniper though, he's missing everything. So easy loot. I should have picked up all of the good loot. He didn't have a heat wave though, unfortunately. Alright, yeah, we got some thick clothes. We got a drill. Extended mags. That's pretty nice. Now we have a pretty bad situation actually. These guys, they're trying to raid my base. Which I don't even know where they're raiding because it's not mine. So I don't know how much HP it is at. Yeah, they know I'm in here. So I'm just gonna move loot once again. I'm just gonna home to my first bed this time. This is insane, man. I can't live in peace for more than five minutes. Without getting door camped or raided. Now, the guys that are outside, they were teaming with the guy that I just killed. Which is a three-man team. And probably has a heatwave in vault. Which is terrible. So I need to do this as quickly as possible. Thing is, to home from one bed to another, there's a cooldown of one minute. So it does take a while. I'm just gonna salvage everything so that when I'm back, I wouldn't waste time salvaging. Yeah, we're back. So I'm just gonna drop everything. Actually, I could put the lockers really quickly. Alright, three lockers have been placed, so let's just put the good loot inside, Moscas. Let's drop the Skelleric for now, we don't really need it. Thing is, from here I would be able to hear if they are raiding. I need to wait to home to the second bed again, man. Alright, they're trying to raid with Tusk now, I'm back for a round two. I don't know where they're damaging. And yeah, they're not shooting the metal one. Listen, I want to make a deal, alright? This guy's saying he wants to make a deal. Oh, go away. As soon as I move off the loot, I'm gonna destroy them. Yeah, they're trying to raid with, with Pox, bro, as well. Is he trying to ra raid the metal? Oh, he's trying to raid the hatch, and the shots aren't even registering for him. That's kind of funny, to be honest. He's turning night vision on and off, thinking that it's C4. I hope it's not C4. Right, we're using our only C4 right now. And he's saying he's using C4. Is he really thinking that's gonna work on me? Bro, I use the exact same tactic. What are you talking about? Uh, let's just take the loot. We're almost done uh, anyway. Yeah, we're back. Let's move all of these. Got ourselves a pretty good loot from this. I think we basically took everything that is good. I don't think we left any good items back there. I'm still gonna take everything. I'm not gonna leave even one metal scrap. So if they do manage to raid me, then that would be hilarious. We've already lost a lot of high ammo, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they're roof camping me. Hit him twice. Yeah, they saw me. Hit him twice, three times. He hit me, let's just med up, back up. Oh, I accidentally put another med, it's fine. They're booth camping and door camping. Oh my god, how the hell did he not kill me? Yeah, the other dude is here. How the hell did this guy not kill me either? Oh, they, are, they have some loot. Bunch of junk, why did I have barbed wire on them? Yeah, military radio, a bunch of actually good components, a bunch of rope. Oh, yeah, I cleared them out as well. He wants to make a deal with me, by the way. Door camping. Saying they're not door camping in chat. Alright, well, this is all my loot now. I also moved all of the loot to my main base. Again. All right, I didn't leave anything in here. Oh, they're stuck. Around. I hear shot. Wait, he's right there. I doesn't even see me. Alright, let's make a deal, bro. There we go. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have anything, though. Rubber. Tape. I'll take that. He's right up there. Dead. Other dude is back there. Hit him twice. Oh, he, he may kill me, actually. Yeah, I'm so low. Please don't hit me, bro. Yeah, we good. We didn't hit me. Just mad up. All right, we're back at full HP. I don't think this is their base, though. It's full crystal. I doubt it's their base. I think they were trying to run away from me now. I mean, this could be their base, actually. It's a full crystal 1 by 2 Wait, what? What's up, man? He's dead. We didn't have anything. If this was their base, they would definitely not be running around with barbed wire and a skiller. So I don't think it's theirs. There's a guy there. Oh, he's so low. There we go, he's dead. My guy was full geared as well, Mosca and everything. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Mosca, two pox, a bunch of metal. That metal is beautiful. A lot of people are starting to leave, by the way. Server didn't really have that much to begin with, but now everybody's starting to leave. Server's kind of dying out, sadly. 
And so I also upgraded my base, got a billion lockers now. All full of loot. Now I got all of this loot in an hour and a half as a solo and mostly all from PvP, which is a pretty good rack searches in my opinion. Now I did also upgrade base a bit, made it into a 2x2 from a 2x1. That looks pretty good as well. I have two doorways for whatever reason. I don't even know myself. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna head off as well. I mean, the server did sadly kind of die out. Put that pillar there because I salvaged it. But yeah, very good rack searches, very short rack searches, but still, all of this loot in a very short time. It's pretty crazy. And yeah, after that, I did leave the server. I did have a good time. Now, if you guys want to see more Elver content like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.